Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Let It Die. So in the previous episode I went over some changes that have happened since the last time I had a recording session on this account for the Let's Play. So yeah, it has been a while and there's been a lot of changes I have to go over. And it doesn't look like we've got any real tutorials for the changes, but I think they've updated old tutorials and added some to those. It's all like it's all explained in the patch notes on the official website. So one big thing I forgot to mention last episode. Let's see, we still got 10 hours left on that war. I wouldn't mind participating with this uh, account. See if we can win this thing. It's uh, the UK versus France. Seems like it's a very close fight so far. Well, what I wanted to go over but didn't have time for was the waiting room. Has a couple of new changes in the Tokyo Death Metro menu. So you can purchase alarms and set them to your fighter. Do we have a defense set, uh, set up? Let's have a look. So I mentioned that you can... They no longer lose anything in Tokyo Death Metro with your fighters. So you can actually set up fighters in the defense who are your uh, bankers, who are keep storing, uh, storing equipment and items and consumables. Because when they're abducted, they'll reset and then they'll fly right back to your base and they won't lose any of their items. So that's a cool thing. Let's see. Cannot change anything on you here, can I? No. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna go and set these guys up quickly. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Uno momento. Do you have kill coins? Okay, cool. We got a couple of kill coins. That's good. I'm actually gonna spend some of these now. I wanna buy a little bit of equipment to uh, equip these defenders. If you can call them that. So they're rank one, well, level one collectors. What have you got on you? Alright. I guess I could give them some gear. Okay, that requires too much HP, you can't equip that. But you can equip the special forces gear. Actually, yeah, no, I see. I'll equip them with the standard com the standard wardrobe that I'm wearing on most of my fighters. So, special forces pants, heavy hitter body, heavy hitter head. Fine. And I think I'll give him a weapon as well. You can't equip that. It costs too much strength. Well, damn. What can I give you? I wonder what kind of stats this guy has. So he's got 12 luck. Enough stamina and HP. 230 stamina, 220 HP. I'll have a look at our weapons available. Try and get these defenders so set up. You went to my little brother's store, huh? He knows his stuff. For an idiot. He can't make a darn thing. Well, it's your choice after all. No, that's interesting. He actually mentioned his uh, brother's store. The uh, Hyakufunsha Wandering Store. 
See, this is the Chocofuncha store. They kind of look alike, I think they're twins. So, isn't his brother bald? I'm not sure. Well, anyway, it looks like we can equip them with things like the robber crossbow and the red hot iron. So, I'm gonna buy one red hot iron, a robber crossbow, and that's it. Spent our kill coins already. Can buy another heavy hitter hat. And our death bag is full, so we're ejected from the store automatically. Just want to set up a rudimentary defense for actually, you know, why not just so got that, that, and that? Yeah, we're setting up a rudimentary defense right now. With the change to Tokyo Death Metro, it's actually there's no detriment to setting up a defense. Well, the only thing is that your fighters are slightly inconvenienced by being in... Uh, well, you're setting up a defense, so you're probably setting up a fighter build, so they're generally not fighters you'll be using yourself to climb the tower with, but they'll be fighters that you've tailored to repelling invaders in uh, to your waiting room in Tokyo Deathmatch. Let's see. Alright, you can equip those. The heavy hitter head. Right. Who was it that I'd given that gear? Okay, it's you. So, we'll take some weapon as well. Red Hot Iron Plus, you can have that. And that should do. So, death bag, you can actually equip all of your things on the fighter in the fighter freezer which is cool so you're set up as a defender not that you're gonna be stopping anyone with the amount of HP that you've got and the amount of vitality but hey it's better than nothing I guess storage 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 um, I'll give you the red hot iron as well, why not? Won't have the kill coins to buy any gear for this guy. Just equip him with that weapon, so he's got something. Fighter settings... Okay, you're just about... Actually, yeah. Nah, we'll stick with these two defenders, that's fine. So you can also have the robber crossbow. And I'll buy another gear set for him. I think we already had a hat. Yep, we already got a heavy hitter hat. Just gonna buy special forces pants and heavy hitter body for him. Don't have enough kill coins right now, but here it is, some kill coins. Expedition rewards, cool. You chose a refined team. That's an elegant flag. Well, I never noticed, but he actually remarks about all kinds of things. Let's see now, what are we getting? Uh here we go, heavy hitter body, special horse of pants, is the best fashion, in my opinion, available to us right now. We'll probably have uh, better fashion options later in the game. Oops, I did not mean to press that button. Looks like we're swapping fighters. Then. Actually, 
actually. That's no problem. What have we got here? Equip that in the left hand. Storage chests. Take that armor out of storage. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, damn, that's right. I've not even put it in storage yet. Those, that gear that I bought. Where is he? Where's that striker? Is it you, Godwin? Yeah. So, plop that in the storage chests. Where did all this stuff come from? Is he set up to to take on a boss or something? This is odd. Oh well. So... Storage, take out. The heavy hitter body. Special forces. Equip that. So there we have a defender. You got two defenders, both level one collectors, which won't last long at all. They'll probably get one shot by whoever attacks, but hey, at least they're doing something, right? A new mail about whatever. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. It's the uh, the floors have just reshuffled and reset. So we get a login bonus. Awesome. Let's see. Oh yeah, we have a few lost bags from our uh, Tokyo Death Metro TDM Battle Rush reward. We get ten thousand spliffium for the weekly. Uh, TDM battle, I don't know, events, possibly. Iron scraps, piece of broken copperware, that might come in handy. All right. So let's see, yeah. I'm actually on the wrong character now for doing uh, Tokyo Death Metro fights. So I'm going to go back on Godwin. Quick switcheroo. You could consider this uh, episode the uh, preparation phase. It usually goes like that. When they're preparing for your defense or attack in Tokyo Death Metro, preparing for a farming run or preparing to climb the tower and make some progression, you'll spend a little time in your waiting room. Especially if you like doing the uh, expeditions as well, then <laughs> you'll be spending about half an hour between tower runs or Tokyo Death Metro fights, just... Alrighty, so we'll quickly set up and have a look at the changes that I've been talking about earlier, but I haven't got to yet. So, first we'll set up a defense. Our two storage spaces. We got a storage plus. In you go. You can set them anywhere you want, but this is the first room I'm setting them just so we can keep our enemies occupied as soon as possible. Want to give him a warm welcome. So, the second one, our uh, Storage Plus Ultra. I must mention that they're really weak. Having no skill decals and not being leveled up. Also, they're, they're rank 2 fighters, aren't they? And I've got rank 3 available. <laughs> oh well. 
so they're set up. Now, here's a new feature in the game. Purchase alarm. You can purchase alarms and set them to your fighters. And we'll show off exactly how that works in a simulation attack against our own base. So, you can see on the icons, well, you've got this ocarina looking thing going on on screen. That's the alarm. And the icon to the top right of it is the kind of uh, the kind of creatures that you'll spawn when the alarm is triggered. So the first one has a hundred percent chance to spawn six scratch tubers, uh, rank two, uh, second grade uh, scratch tubers. The next alarm has a 50-50 chance of spawning either scratch tubers or hovering tubers. Now it's got a hundred percent chance to spawn something, mind you. It definitely spawns something, but it's 50-50 whether it spawns scratch tubers or hovering tubers. It'll spawn four scratch tubers mark two, or one hovering tuber mark two. And then we've got the last alarm, which is also the more expensive one, which has a bigger chance of spawning the boss Cohen, or it will spawn a scratch tuber mark two times four, a hovering tuber mark two times one. And you can see the chances on the right side of the screen. 30% chance for both the uh, tuber types and a 40% chance for the Cohen boss. So I think I'll set up both alarms and show them, well, two types of alarms and show them off. Actually, I'll set up a, uh, a Cohen alarm and hmm. now I'll start off with a scratch tuber alarm. Yeah. You can also see how long the alarm uh, works for. So it works for 24 hours standard and it costs 130 Splifium, this one. Set an alarm to a fighter with square. So you can set, see the top right, well the middle right of the screen, the time left on your alarm, the type of alarm you've got and the um, whether it's set or not, own fighters. If you press square on a fighter it'll set you just spam that button and you can see set, not set. And when you set it, it says which platform, uh, platform four, platform four fighter has the alarm and it's got this little red uh, alarm icon on the top of his head. So we could set the alarm on the first fighter or we could set it on the second fighter, but I'm going to set it on the first one. We'll exit the screen. Now, when you've purchased an alarm, you can see a little E icon, meaning that it's equipped on a fighter. And if you purchase it again, you'll extend the time remaining on the alarm. Uh, you'll, well, it'll start off doubling, but you'll, I think you'll add 24 hours every time you purchase the alarm. And they're really cheap, so it's very easy to set an alarm that'll last for, what's the maximum amount of time, 140 hours? I'm not sure how much days that is, but yeah, you can you can have your base covered for quite a while if you uh, well look. I can purchase it again, but I'm not going to do it, and that'll extend the time to 47 hours and 59 minutes for defense. So that's a pretty cool new function. So uh, we'll quickly actually before testing the uh, the alarm. Quickly look at this new feature, remodeling. Uh, so you can remodel your waiting room. I don't think we can do anything because it's, oh, what's this? Poster. Oh, posters. Is that new? I didn't see that last time I checked. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, I think the posters are new. Huh. Well, in any case, you can change the appearance of your waiting room to various uh, styles. So the most obvious change would be 
the floor when you look at the floor so you've got a fantasy sports military diy setting so the four styles of areas in the uh, in the tower of barbs and let it die it's set to normal now but with spending a couple of death metals you can easily customize it to something looking more more flashy i would love to get the summer setup <laughs> on this uh, on this account that would be great but we don't really have access to that many death metals so i don't know if i will be able to do that because they're more important to spend on storage space in the beginning and you can set up a whole bunch of other scenery that is styled to different styles so you've got the four main areas of the tower that you can see but also you've got the special uh, seasonal events that uh, are also featured in the uh, decorations so that's cool that's a nice new change i'd say this is one of the big things you can do with death metals after you've completed your storage space or you could do it before you've completed your storage space and uh, suffer without storage okay mm so we're going to do a quick defense simulation can we do a defense simulation yeah off we go There he is. So, this is an interesting new fighter's name. An interesting thing to note is there's no friendly fire, so you don't have to worry about your fighters taking out the other defenders. And if I wait too long, the next. Uh, yep, there he is. The next fighter shows up. So, in the defense, we now have to go up against a whole army of defenders. Of course, still relatively weak. Excuse me. Whoops. Gotcha. <laughs> And we've just about won, because we know <laughs> our defense setup is just those two guys. Oh yeah. What the hell? Oh. It says level 74. Are you level 74? That is weird. Well, what they'll do in either the first area... I think we've gone over this in uh, one of the previous episodes we've done focusing on Tokyo Death Metro is so long as you have fighters so long as you have fighters they will pick one of your fighters strip them of all their gear and decals and put them as a defense in either the first floor I mean the first room or the second room if it has no defenders set to it and this room has no defenders set to it so the game picks one of our fighters at random strips them of all their gear and decals and puts them to defend this room uh, naked it says wanda do we have a fighter called wanda we may do i'll check in a minute I get battle points for defeating you? Can I level my weapons on my own defense? 
because it may not be the fastest way to do it. And we win! Should have a fighter, <laughs> uh, a fish named Wanda, in our fighter freezer. Of course, you've got the fancy banner in the loading screens telling you what new events are going on at the moment. Okay, defense settings. Let's have a look at our fighter freezer. And yes, we do. That's our first, uh, our main fighter. So as you can see, she was stripped of all of her gear and decals to be put in the second room as defense. Now, if you ever go up in a TDM fight and you have to fight no one, that means you're going up against someone who has just one fighter. <laughs> who hasn't made more than one fighter or who's deleted everyone but one fighter and they're on their main fighter so yeah then there's no one the game can select to defend their base even naked as weird as that is we're fighting everyone okay so every day this thing resets too this uh, hernia machines offers the special offers of the day are flashing, I believe. Yeah, you can see the flash there. So you can buy these uh, really late game materials if we want to, but we're not going to do that. <clears throat> All right. So I think that's going to be this. Uh, that that's going to be it for this episode. I may do uh, either a little bit of kill coin farming or farming the war in Sogar Death Metro between this and the next episode <clears throat> to get a bit of progress going on that. Of course it's also very beneficial to be fighting in wars because that's a good source of death medals. If you win the war and you can, your contribution is high enough you will get uh, a few death medals and a lot of uh, kill coins and spliffium as reward. So, see you all next episode.